Happy Thursday, Facebook friends. Welcome back to Facebook. If you're joining us here on Facebook this fine Thursday, you will know that it's time for another edition of Teacher Talk. I'm Angie Garza, Director of Professional Learning and Educational Services at ROE 47, serving Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside counties. And as we welcome all of you back to Teacher Talk here on Facebook this fine Thursday, we want to um, just remind everybody that we are in the thick of the 2023-24 school year, uh, celebrating our new programs and services, and really kicking the school year off um, uh, as we head on into fall. And today, uh, as we start our teacher talk for the morning, uh, I am very pleased and happy to welcome my friend, colleague, and co-host, Ms. Stacey Dingus, Digital Teaching and Learning Specialist. And Stacey, this morning, we are going to be talking about a very important topic to start the school year, student attendance. So September is Student Attendance Month. So. We're, we're going to be hearing from a few of our, our friends and experts here at our very own Regional Office of Education. Good morning, Angie, and happy fall, my second favorite season um, of the year. It definitely feels all the fall things outside, the colors, the trees are turning, it's getting a little bit cooler out. I'm excited to get this teacher talk going today. Um, I too am interested in learning about the changes to the student attendance program that's happened in our area. Um, I know as a teacher, that student attendance is so important um, for school. And there's also a lot of things that go along with getting that child to school. So I'm excited to talk to two experts um, from our office to share a little bit about um, some of the changes that have happened to this program. Stacy, yes, we have two of our very special friends, our very own team members here in our professional learning and educational services department um, to tell us a little bit more about the changes and the services and all the things uh, that our office um, offers in terms of supporting students and family with getting to school, because we do know that there are many barriers that our families and students face with uh, regards to their education. So uh, in, in that breath and that end, I would like to take a moment to introduce our friends in our student attendance program, Ms. Diana Meridian and Nellie Burke. Ladies, I'm, I'm going to start us off uh, and ask you if you could please introduce yourselves to our Facebook community and tell our viewers a little bit about um, what brought you to this program and, and who you are. Hi, I'm Diana Murdian, uh, Program Coordinator for our Attendance Support Program, our uh, Nexus Program, and our IRIS Referral uh, System. My name is Nellie Burke. I am new to the Attendance Support Program this year. I am taking over for the Whiteside County cases, um, and I'm super excited to be here. Nellie, let's get started with you and ask you um, the all-important question about why student attendance is so important. Um, to the success of our student and really ultimately to the success of our community, right? To make sure that we are, um, you know, getting these kids to school and addressing the needs or the barriers maybe of why um, student attendance is an issue um, as a whole. Can you tell us a little bit about these barriers or challenges that maybe are facing some of our students and our families in our area? One of the most important barriers that we are working with is restoring the communication between the parents and the school. We want them to, the parents to learn the importance of um, attendance at school. There's a huge problem if you miss two days a month, that would be missing an entire year of school by the time you graduate middle school. And I just think once you put it in that perspective, the students or the parents will learn that um, that's a lot of school to miss. And that's a lot of instruction and learning that students are going without when they do miss school that much. Diana, um, can you talk to us a little bit about the philosophy? We we mentioned that we're kind of revamping the program. You are kind of shepherding the work of creating this continuum of supports and services and kind of thinking about how we engage with families and then um, our nexus supports and services and then also then moving along to work with students um, to kind of problem solve some additional barriers to their learning and to their attendance at school. So 
as we redefine this, can you tell us a little bit about that philosophy or maybe some of the beliefs that our office holds when it comes to student attendance program and uh, it, the work that you all are doing with students and families to support those endeavors? Yes, so um, one of our biggest things that we are doing this year is really focusing on building community within the schools, within our greater community, within the Leogo Whiteside kind of region, and really trying to kind of create this sense of belonging, not only for our students, but for the parents and the schools, um, and really trying to take away that kind of punitive um, approach that some people might have uh, might remember from when they were in school uh, years ago um, and really trying to just offer support. The main goal is getting the students to attend school. Um, and so we're, we're really trying to kind of change that, that viewpoint and that mindset. Um, we are also trying to uh, look at missing school as a uh, indication that whatever interventions that we are working with that student or that family, that they're not working and that we need to change the supports that we are doing because those missed days is kind of an indicator to us that, hey, we need to adjust um, and not, and being proactive instead of reactive um, when, when there are absent days. You spoke a little bit about the philosophy of this program. Can you talk about some of the changes that have been made um, and moving forward, how that will support our students? So along with Nellie, uh, we also have uh, we also have some more new staff. Um, so there is that change. Um, but we are also working on routines and kind of social emotional supports um, and and really trying to kind of get to the heart of why uh, we have so much school avoidance. Um, some of that could be um, bullying or um, other, you know, uh, social issues. Um, some could be academic and um, making sure that we have uh, the supports for those families. Um, also, we have a lot of issues with transportation. Um, sometimes uh, busing uh, can be really early and trying to get kids up and, and ready and out the door um, can be difficult when we're trying to do that at 5. 5.45 in the morning. Diana mentioned that we have a whole new team here at the office uh, to really support our students and families with some of those attendance barriers or challenges. Um, I, I think before we um, close up here this morning, um, shout out to not only you, Nellie and Diana, but uh, Katie Godin and Janet Kaminsky, who are working in Ogle County, Emily Heitman, who is our Lee County student attendance support person. Um, so a whole new crew of people um, for an exciting year of supporting students and families. So as we um, look at the 23-24 school year and Nellie being kind of brand new to this role, um, what are you looking forward to this year? I would say that the thing I'm looking most forward to is staying student focused and making sure that the partnership between the school and the parents and the students and myself um, grows. And I want to learn all of my students. I want to learn the school districts and all of their employees and make some positive changes to Whiteside County. Uh, some of the things that I heard here as we were talking this morning were student focus. I love that growth relationships. Um, you know, really increasing agency and reducing barriers for our students and families. And all of these things are not only going to make for a successful program, but they are going to make for successful students. So um, on behalf of our entire team in the office and our greater community, just wanted to say thank you so much, uh, not only for being here this morning, but for all of the work that the two of you do and your team does to support student attendance and families here in the Lee Ogle and Whiteside County service area. Friends, that wraps us up here for another edition of Teacher Talk this Thursday in September. As a reminder, September is Student Attendance Month. And so um, thank a student attendance uh, caseworker, uh, say thank you to school personnel. But most importantly, if you are a parent or a student out here, remember that student attendance matters. Um, participation in school is only going to increase success 
as we look at um, each and every one of our students' futures. Thank you so much today for tuning in. Thank you to our special guests, Ms. Diana Meridian and Nellie Burke, and to all of our student attendance staff. Thank you to my friend, colleague, and co-host, Ms. Stacey Dingus, and most importantly, thank you for tuning in. We hope that you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, an even better Friday, a wonderful fall weekend, and we will see you right back here next Thursday for another edition of Teacher Talk.